now that the electrical is finished up, um, it's time to build shelves. And I have lots of shelves. I went ahead and built one to kind of, it's something to go by because I had a certain, certain things I'm going to be putting on the shelves and I had a certain way and height that I wanted them to be because of my uh, receptacles and whatever. But uh, I started building that one and then I have eight more to go after that. Uh, the plan is to put a line of shelves against that wall, a line of shelves against that wall, and then I have a workbench that I'm moving from my old shop that I'm going to put right there, and it's probably going to take up three sections, maybe, something like that. And the rest of that space is where my lift and all that's going to be, so there's not going to be much room to put stuff. So, let's start building the shelves. So the shelves have been built, the electrical is finished. Now I gotta move all my stuff from the other shop in here. And then after I do that, the next plan is to uh, get a vent right there and a vent right there. And I'm gonna cut a big, um, I think it's called a gable vent. I'm gonna put a gable vent right there and a gable vent right there. Reason, so, reason being is because um, metal buildings are kind of like notorious for uh, holding moisture because the cool air from the ground and the concrete, especially the cool air mixed with the sun hitting the metal on the outside, warming it up, it creates moisture in here. So I wanna eliminate that by keeping as much airflow going through as possible. Um, I'm definitely not gonna climate control this thing because it would cost too much. So we'll get the vents in and we should be good to go. Well, guys, um, I'm calling it a night. Uh, I'm not sure if you saw the video that Simply Sally posted, but I helped her clean out her entire building and moved all this stuff in here. And I did all this that you just watched. I did that earlier and what you just watched all in the same day. So I'm pretty tired. I've been going at this for like uh, 14 hours now or something like that. So I got, I got a majority of it done. I know it doesn't look like it, it still looks like a big mess, but I've got all that stuff on the shelves. I still need to organize that, need to organize that, but whatever. I'm happy with where I am. I made a lot of progress today. Um, I'll record what I do tomorrow, and I better be done tomorrow. And also, Simply Sally and I are going to be getting her laser out of the crate. So... Tomorrow's going to be a busy day too. Correction. The next two weeks, correction. The next year is going to be extremely busy. <laughs> Probably more so than the year, but that's how we like it around here. Okay, guys. So day two of cleaning up or organizing my new shop. Um, I don't have a whole heck of a lot left. I have that little trailer load of metal right there, which I'm going to put on the shelves back there. And then I have a lot of just random stuff sitting on the floor that I didn't get to last night. But, um... Once I get all that stuff up on the shelves and organized, I'm going to clean my workbench up and clean my toolboxes up a little bit. And um, I don't know if you can see the gaps in between the shelves, but since I've added things, they've kind of shifted around a little bit. Um, at the top, I'm talking, not the bottom. Um, I'm actually going to go to each top and run a, like a self-tab and screw through it just to hold them together. Um, I don't think the way they are, I don't think it's going to hurt anything, but I have OCD and that gap's bothering me. So I'm going to bolt them together. Um, but anyways, let's get started. Well, looks like the boys like it. Jack and Leah, y'all like the um, new shop? Everything all organized and stuff? Where y'all going? Come back, JJ. Which I think that there's probably more Jack, come here. Leo's checking everything out. I don't think that that is necessarily uh, a, 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 a fair cross section of how things are being talked by. I, I am at the end of it. I'm going to talk to my 
schools, graduate University of Miami. I'm basically a functioning illiterate. Well, guys, I think I'm about 98% complete with all this. Um, I still got to mount my blower and my hedge trimmers and my weed eater, and I got to find somewhere to put these air fittings and stuff like that. But um, other than that, I mean, I'm pretty much finished. I got all my junk on the shelves. I got my table cleaned off finally. I have not cleaned my toolbox off yet. That, that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Um, this is what I ended up doing. Those two boxes right there is two wind turbines and there's um, two louver vents. I'm gonna put a louver vent right there and a louver vent right there. And then I'm gonna put the, uh, the wind turbines, roof vents, there and there or there and there. I hadn't decided yet. Um, Say, hey, JJ, you're on YouTube. <laughs> he wants to go in the house and see the kids, I think. He's got tired of sitting out here with me. But um, this is what it turned out. I didn't record me making that because I spent maybe three or four hours scratching my head trying to figure out where the heck I was going to put everything. I ended up putting my air compressor right here. And I just ran a hose over here to this other tank. It's another 20-something gallon tank. And uh, I just ran like a coil hose. And if I <clears throat> ever need to, um, you know, go out in the yard for whatever reason or go somewhere else, I have another probably 80 feet of hose on that thing. That hose is 100 foot. So I can go pretty much anywhere in here I want to for sure. Um, I got my tractor here, got my lift over there. I still got to blow this chair off right here. Um, I'm going to eventually put that over there near the bench. But let me squeeze by this wall, get my pressure washer here. Got all my metal and all my other junk on these shelves. I didn't realize how much stuff I had, oh my goodness. Um, Cause I had all this packed in a 24 by 24 garage and you could barely walk in there. And now I have all this stuff in a 24 by 41 garage. And then this, it's more open, you can walk, but it's still pretty packed. Um, I have a lot more shovels and rakes and stuff like that than that, but I keep those on my truck. Um, I pack my welder and my spreader and all this stuff right there, hose pot and all. Um, I'm really happy that I got finished. Um, I normally like organizing things and putting things away, but I've been doing it for so long. It's probably been close to 12 hours now, and I was kind of getting over it. But I um, hope you guys enjoyed watching me clean up a big mess and semi-organize it. <laughs> Um, stay tuned for the next video because tomorrow we're going to be getting the laser out, unboxing it and everything. And then I'm going to make a video on um, installing a uh, mini split air conditioning system for Simply Sally's new garage. Um, I'm doing that for the laser, obviously, because I don't want her having to work in the extreme cold and extreme heat. It's got to be comfortable. And then uh, we're going to do a dust collection system. We're going to do a lot of stuff. So stay tuned, guys.